thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I really love um, the Yule Log, aka the fireplace. Um, easily in my top five uh, killer uh, fireplace uh, projects. <laughs> Good. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll have to check out the other four. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, I, I thought it was so genius. Um, I kind of felt like it was sort of a deconstructed, uh, not to sound too pretentious, but like a deconstructed uh, holiday film. Um, would that be accurate, uh, would you say? Yes, like yes. A, like a, like a rom-com, I mean. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good observation. And also sort of a, to also sound pretentious, like a pastiche of <laughs> of different horror movies. Yes, but a deconstruct, yeah, I like that. A deconstruction of a holiday film. Uh, yeah, it's interesting because, uh, you know, you have, in a way, a lot of the familiar tropes, you know, you have like... Um, a romantic getaway, uh, the proposal, um, a little friction, but then all hell literally and figuratively breaks loose. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. There is a component that's a little like a Hallmark movie. Yes, <laughs> you're right. Um, that's Yeah, that's great. I, I love that. Um, and I have to say like it has a lot of great world building and I know this is such a maybe a basic question, but I would love to know uh, how you came up with this idea, like how the project came about. Absolutely. I'm I'm happy to answer that. Uh, uh, the holiday season last year, I was watching a Yule Log video. And for some reason, I just got this image. I'm looking at this tight shot of a fireplace. And I got this image of you see legs walk by in front of the fireplace out of focus. And then you hear dialogue. And it just got my mind going of like, oh, yeah, then what's that person saying? And then suddenly this Yule Log video is a story. And that got me really excited. So I pitched that premise to Adult Swim. And they're like, as a 4am thing, like too many cooks. And um, they go, yeah, this is, let's do this. Let's explore it. And then for some reason, I said, not having any ideas yet, I said, uh, what if we made it a movie? <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, uh, okay, if you can make it for about the same amount of money, we'll look into making it a movie. So that's, that's because I've always wanted to make a movie. So that's how it came about. And that's awesome. Um, so uh, this kind of features just about everything. Aliens, cults, uh, killer rednecks, and of course, a rampaging log. Uh, I'm kind of curious, was there any ideas that were maybe a little bit too strange to include? Or, or were you kind of given like full reign on i got i got free reign like i i pretty much uh yeah no everything that i threw in there somehow stayed in there <laughs> uh which i'm happy to say um uh the only thing that the only small thing is i i kind of wanted to do in the time travel stuff one that was sort of like the 1900s like turn of the century but uh, we didn't, they didn't want to have to create another set of that, you know, so, but that, but pretty much everything I wanted, I got to do. So that was a thrill. Nice. And was there any kind of problems with like um, the network maybe saying like, oh, that's maybe a little bit too far or like, were you, you pretty much good on everything you wanted they were, to, to do? They were very understanding and, and they really bought into it and they they saw what I was trying to do and believed in it. So I think really they were supportive, but I was I wanted them to be happy. So I was I was very open to anything they had to say. But no, they were they were uh, on board. Nice. Um, I, yeah. and, and I was worried. I was worried when I turned in that script. I'm like, <laughs> they're going to hate this. But no, they liked it. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to say, I, I loved it. I really enjoyed it. I also found it deeply disturbing. And I, as you can see, I see a lot of movies. So uh, hats <laughs> off to you on that. Um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. For me, too. Some of the stuff I wrote, I'm like, that's disturbing me. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so I hear <laughs> um yeah I think like the thing that's kind of stuck with me the most is um the mother and like the the A's on the notepad that's not I don't want to give anything away but it doesn't end well <laughs> I'm glad you like those sequences I, I love them too I'm glad that worked yeah 
Yeah, I just yeah, it's very it's very effective. Oh, good. Because that whole scene with the refrigerator, uh, the A's, I don't know where I just wrote that. I just was improvising and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. Um, so now I'm kind of curious, and now I, I'm I know this is like one of those things of like parallel thought, but it's it's so fascinating when I was watching it and I was like, oh, a double booked Airbnb. I was I like know. <laughs> <laughs> barbarian yes <laughs> i went and saw barbarian while we were deep in editing this i'm like oh my god and then also <laughs> they have a character named mother uh, you know oh, yeah i was like oh wow but i get i like to think that the things are just in the ether and and you know are bouncing around so uh and i love that movie so i'm happy to uh yeah it was sort of a bummer but it's you know what they're different movies so i'm not worried oh, yeah um <laughs> Yeah, and I don't, I mean, I'm certainly not implying that like one copy of the other. I just thought it was like an interesting. No, no yeah, thing. no, totally, totally. I mean, that happens like, yeah, totally. Um, So now I'm kind of like curious from a technical aspect, what was like the most challenging uh, part of this project? Oh, wow. Uh, it was all challenging, honestly, because uh, we had such a, we shot it in under three weeks, which is very fast for this. I think that the the time the schedule was challenging and and um the graphic the special effects shots were many more than the special effects team anticipated so mm -hmm. those they were they were working 20 hours a day on this like just wow. really going uh Derek King and Ben Martin were just really and and they hired some other people but uh, they really delivered it. I mean, this thing just got finished. I mean, if this was a a, a painting we had sent you, it would still be wet. Uh, <laughs> it's it just got finished. But, I mean, the, the deadest possible deadline to give HBO time to encode it. HBO Max, yeah. Wow, that's that's uh, incredible. <laughs> so it looks like I need to wrap up soon, but I just wanted to ask one final question: Is there any projects that you're currently working on that you can talk about um, or want to promote? Not really. I think they're all a little far off, a little early days, but I'm doing a couple of TV pilots and uh, writing a, another movie. I have the bug, so I want to make more movies. Um, but yes, uh, that's great. Well, uh, I'm very much looking forward to uh, whatever you make next. Uh, this was so awesome. I'm, I'm such a big fan. So this was uh, a real treat. Thank you so much, Mike. That makes all me right, happy. Thank, yep. Thank you.